Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying three limited edition ice creams from Van Leeuwen. That's, I've never seen a commercial for them, Lee so. Leeuwen. Leeuwen, uh, Van Leeuwen. Uh, royal wedding cake with elderflower and lemon. That's interesting. Hot honey, that was pretty straightforward. And this one's planet Earth. So we're gonna be eating the planet Earth in this one. <laughs> These were $4.98 each at Walmart. Uh, so we're gonna try the royal wedding cake with elderflower and lemon French ice cream. These are 14 ounce containers, so not a full pint. Um, let's see, nothing makes us happier than this royal wedding cake ice cream. Inspired by the cake served at a certain royal wedding in 2018, this is the closest you'll get and, and they'll get to feeling like a royal. Floral sweet cream. That was a little bit of a dig. It was, I was six, eight. Wait a minute, was that a dig? Floral sweet cream cheese ice cream with chunks of lemon sponge cake with layers of elderflower frosting. Um, is it appropriate to bow or curtsy? We always forget. I don't think it's appropriate for, to do either in this case. Uh, two and a half servings are in the container. Two thirds cup, 119 grams is 340 calories. So, so, so two servings, so it's like 600 something. Two and a half, oh, two and a yeah. half servings, yeah. So, uh, good job hands, now it's mouth's turn. A life without anything good is bad. Yeah, that's the slogan evidently, because it's on every one of these. Okay. Somebody, I, I heard a quote the other day that I, I really, really liked. It said, um, enjoy life. It, enjoy, it's something like, or have fun. It said, have fun, it's later than you think. I like that. And I, I think uh, that could easily be flipped out. I agree, it's later than you think. We've had these sitting out for what? Yeah, minutes, the maybe. texture is very strange for ice cream. It's like it's it's more like like a halo top or an enlightened. Well, it's like almost like butter or something like churned butter. I don't know. Well, it's, did you smell it? You always have to smell your food. I think it smells. I think it smells good. I'm eating it like a tank. I tell people that because some people complain. Um. Yeah, people complain about anything. Um, we don't care. Complain. We just don't care. Um, th there's a, it's, it's just the, it's a different texture. Yeah. Is that what they chose for their wedding cake? Who would choose that? That's awful. Weird. It's too floral for me. Um, I don't, oh. I don't mind the lemon. There's a, some lemon in there that I don't mind. It's the flower. The it's the elder flower. Elder flower. Um, yeah, I don't know why people pick that. Uh, the the texture of the ice cream itself is is very dense. It is a denser ice cream. Um, the cake pieces. It's got cake pieces in there that are very dry. Mm -hmm. That's not one I would ever ever ever. Choose. I don't like it at all. I, no. I don't like the lemon. No, I really I don't, don't like the lemon either. It's I don't like of, the elder flower. Yeah. I don't like the texture of it. It's supposed to be. French, uh, ice cream. but it doesn't say French pot. Because, yeah, it's just French ice cream. Okay, because we buy graters, and graters is, if you've never had graters ice cream, it's made in Ohio. Some of the best ice cream you'll ever have is graters, and it's French pot ice cream. Well, it's very, very rich and creamy, and there's a smoothness to it. Um, this is not the same. No. Um, hot honey. Uh, hot honey ice cream. If you've never drizzled hot honey onto your ice cream, raise your hand. No, really. It's a combination you might not think of until you try it and then think, how have I never tried this before? It's like that. So we've made things easy for you. No honey jar required. It is two and a half servings, 320 calories. Uh, for two-thirds cut. Yep, that was a clear one. Yeah, this is clear. This doesn't have the the uh, name on it. Okay. <coughs> and this was, yes. Now, that's the way it should be. I like that. It was the elderflowers. 
the flowers were the keeping flowers it. Made it too dense. Okay, I got a big piece of honey. Mm, there's quite a bit of whatever that is. Mm. It's honeycomb. I like I like honey anyway. It's hot though. It um it's not I have barbecue chips though. Tons hotter than that. Yes. <laughs> but it's it is hot. It does have a little spice. If though. people don't like any spices, any anything hot at all, then of course you're not gonna be buying this. Now, is it like a jalapeno or um uh, something like that. No, it's not. That I big do piece of honey right there. like, yeah, I like the crystals. Uh, you should, okay. No, you can eat it. It's fine. I was going to say you should leave that I'll in leave there. It for a picture. So I could take a picture of it. I know, and then you can eat it after I take a picture. Um, I like them. I, I, it's not one that I would buy again and again because of the heat. Uh, because when I want ice cream, I just want sweetness. I don't want any heat at all. Um, just like they've come out with candy bars, chocolate bars that have uh, Tabasco. Tabasco. I'm not going to go to those either. It's not that it tastes bad or anything like that. It's just that I want sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah. Um, I do really like <coughs> the pieces of honey and the, the crunch. Mm -hmm. It has a crunch to it. It feels like honeycomb. Mm -hmm. like, like honeycomb candy. Mm -hmm. That I like it a lot. That is not super hot for me. I get a little. No, it's I get not just for a me. Barely either. a tingle in the back of my throat. Right. But I, like Penny said, if you don't like hot food at all, of course you wouldn't want to get that. Exactly. But, if it affects you and you can't have it or something, yeah. then then you wouldn't get that. I mean, I've had regular mild salsa that was hotter than that. So. Yes. Yeah. But there is some heat there. There is some heat. It it goes away pretty quickly. Oh though. yeah, yeah, and it goes. The ice cream helps tamp it down too. So. This really is good. called Planet Earth. Uh, it says uh, nothing on uh, wait what anyway this flavor is truly out of this world well not technically because it's planet earth but flavor wise it's otherworldly because of the blue blue spirulina almond ice cream and pieces of matcha green tea cake okay. so almond and matcha cake cake and this is a blue. Blue, it's blue and it doesn't have anything on it. Mm -hmm. Hard to get started. Yep, it's barely uh, big enough, but that's okay. I'm just grateful they put a seal on it at all. That's great that they put a seal on it. It's funny how these have both been pretty soft and the, the first one was really still hard. That looks like um, a sponge or something. <laughs> yeah, because it has yellow pieces in it. You see those yellow pieces? It looks like there you go. It looks like pieces of a sponge, doesn't it? It does. I guess it's the cake. Hopefully it's not dry. Mmm. I love the almond. I think the almond, it tastes like cherry ice cream almost. Almost. The cake pieces mm. are good and soft. That is so delicious. That is wonderful. That's my favorite one. I was expecting pieces of almond, but it's just pieces of cake. You don't get any crunchy almond bits in there. Mm, mm, mm. That is delicious. The cake pieces are good. They're um, they're a little chewy, but they're not bad. It it uh, the almond does taste like um, it, it has that cherry flavor to it. That classic cherry flavor, mm -hmm. and the pieces of cake are dense. Um, they're definitely chewy. They have, yeah. I was gonna say they do have a chew to them, but it's it is smaller pieces. So yeah, it's, it's not, not like the first one, which were big hunks of dry cake. Right. These are smaller pieces, smaller chewy pieces. I would get that again and again. I would get the hot. Did honey. I give you calories? It's three hundred twenty calories for two of those. Yep. Yeah. I would get the hot honey. Um, the hot honey. You know, I like I said, I've already explained myself. If 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 it weren't for the hot. I really do like the honey and I like the crunch. I, there's, it's not bad. There's nothing bad about it or off-putting. It doesn't have a bad flavor or anything like that. It's just that I don't want hot in my ice cream. So that's just a matter of a personal taste. And I still do think they did a good job with it. But and see, I wouldn't necessarily get that. Oh, the almond. I just, for me, this is like, 
you know, I love a Bakewell tart and anything almond, I'm, I'm gonna be there for it. Uh, marzipan, so for me, this is this is a clear winner. And 100% we would not get either one Absolutely of Absolutely not, uh, no, no. Not supporting that royal wedding cake at all. But we bought three more flavors, three much more interesting flavors of this ice cream that we're gonna be trying. So. Hopefully you enjoyed this and you look forward to that one and thanks for watching.